Mastering Conditionals in English, the Gateway to Realistic Conversation. Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to dive into an incredibly important aspect of English grammar, conditionals. Now, if you're wondering what conditionals are, they're sentences usually containing an if clause, highlighting a condition, and a main clause, showing the result of that condition. Don't worry if it sounds confusing now. By the end of this video, you'll be a master of conditionals. First, let's break down what a conditional sentence really is. It's simply a sentence that describes a condition and the result of that condition. In other words, it's a cause and effect scenario. For example, take the sentence, if it rains, we'll stay at home. Here, if it rains is the condition, and, we'll stay at home, is the result. There are four types of conditionals in English. Zero, first, second, and third. Each one is used in different situations, and it's crucial to know when to use which. Zero conditional. Zero conditionals are used for facts or certainties. Here's the format. If plus present simple, present simple. For example, if you heat ice, it melts. First conditional. First conditionals express situations that are possible or likely in the present or future. Here's the format. If plus present simple, future simple. For example, if it's sunny, we will go to the park. Second conditional. Second conditionals are for unreal or hypothetical situations in the present or future. Here's the format. If plus past simple, would plus verb, base form. For example, if I won the lottery, I would buy a house. Third conditional. Third conditionals are for hypothetical situations in the past. Things that didn't happen but we imagine what the outcome would have been. Here's the format. If plus past perfect would have plus past participle. For example, if I had studied harder, I would have passed the exam. Lastly, we've got mixed conditionals. These are a bit more complex as they mix the second and third conditionals. They refer to an unreal past condition and its probable result in the present. Here's the format. If plus past perfect would plus verb base form. For example, if I had worked harder in school, I would be in a better job now. That wraps up our exploration of English conditionals. Don't worry if it feels overwhelming right now. Just like learning anything new, it takes practice. Keep practicing, and soon you'll find yourself using conditionals with ease in your English conversations. Until next time, keep learning and growing.